beautiful Sagittarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly. So please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <laughs> Okay, my beautiful Sagittarians, this is your Twin Flame reading for mid-February 2023 and beyond. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. But you are going to be governed or influenced, shall we say, by your ninth house over the next couple of weeks, right up until the 20th of February. Now, this is all about your quest for meaning, the philosophical energies and uh, thoughts that go through your mind, really wondering about your place in the world and how you spend your time. So some of you may feel compelled to go on a course of higher learning. Some of you may also be really connected and focused on your goals and the things that you're trying to accomplish. Uh, but you you won't be wanting to waste any time. So uh, let's see how this will affect your twin flame connection. Uh, we have the woman there. The first pile will be your pile. The second pile will be your person's pile. And the third pile is your unified energy of how things are to turn out, okay? Now in the water, before I even move forward, they're showing me a golden bird, a golden bird in the water. Now the energy that I'm getting from this golden bird is to be a little bit more sociable than usual. It can also be about liberation, um, to live life without restrictions is what I'm feeling. So some of you may be feeling like you're liberating yourself from your twin flame connection. So let's see what's going on there um, when we go deeper in the cards. Uh, now, we of course are in the middle of February and February is considered one of the most romantic months of the year. Um, of course we have Valentine's Day there, but also, oh wow, <laughs> as I say that, we've got the heart and the ring as the outcomes, which means commitment in the future for you and your person. Uh, but February of course is considered romantic because we do have Valentine's Day there. But it's not just about that. We do have Venus in one of the most romantic signs, Pisces. So there is also a lovely link between Neptune and in Pisces, but we must be very careful about this link because it does um, lead us into the realm of fantasy sometimes. So it's really important to be really honest with yourself during this period, just to make sure if you're connected to anybody who is emotionally or physically like unavailable or someone you cannot trust, it's about taking a step back and really looking at the relationship and asking yourself, is it worth your time and your energy? Also, it's really worth noting to look up online what it means to be in a twin flame connection, okay? Um, um, there we go. Uh, oh no, they told me the first card was Sagittarius. That was on the bottom. Okay, they're just telling me that this is your card and this is their card, okay? I just wanna get that straight uh, before we move on. Um, yes, please look up online, whether you're in a twin flame connection or a false flame connection, they are very similar. But if anyone is narcissistic, um, is you know emotionally, physically or mentally abusive, that is not a twin flame connection. That is more likely to be a false flame. I want you to be aware. I would like to receive bottom is first, and there we go. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know regarding uh, their twin flame connection? Now, worth noting as well that please look out for any golden birds. <laughs> uh, the bird that they're showing me, it looks really like a, a sparrow. Uh, in the shape, but it's golden, whatever it is. It looks almost like a brass figure. So look out for that on your um, journey 
over the next six weeks or so because when you spot one it does indicate that you are closer to having communication and closer to being in a committed relationship with you and your twin okay so just watch out for the signs and symbols that come up in this um, reading because um, they do mean something eventually they may not mean anything to you in this moment but suddenly everything becomes clear as we move throughout the month and beyond okay um, now your first card is the woman now male or female it's not a gender specific reading sorry I got an itchy leg <laughs> um, it's not a gender specific reading it's about the energy and I feel you've been very uh, patient with this person you love this person, you got the Queen of Cups as well. So that means unconditional love, okay? Uh, you feel this person on another level. You really understand this person. There's a lot of love between you and them, and you do feel that love still. You do feel that affection still. But I feel right now you're thinking about your happiness. I think, um, as you can see, the, the woman is wearing the, the hat, which tends to indicate the crown chakra of knowingness and you are deciding that it's time to face the sun it's time to look at where you're happy and where you're not and right now i feel this relationship you're asking yourself is it worth the effort that you've put in there uh, because you do have a seven of pentacles uh, so the seven of pentacles is like should i go for an alternative uh, you've been very patient with this you've been nurturing it but it doesn't seem to be blossoming it doesn't seem to be going anywhere so you may be observing the way that this twin flame connection has been going and you're wondering if you should turn your back on it okay it's really also worth noting that um, signs and synchronicities they start to show up in your readings and in your everyday life when it indicates that there is a catalyst in your relationship with your twin okay as you can see we've got a, a sunflower there and you've also got in your pile here the queen of wands a sunflower as well and sunflowers they always follow the sun throughout the day so again again my guys are giving me this sense that you're only going where you feel happy I mean who wouldn't but at the same time I feel this loving, uh, this connection was very loving at first, but then it started to um, become, it's not a little bit boring. I just get this sense that it started to grind down, okay? And um, I mean, your person is in King of Wands energy, and we've also got a Queen of Wands here. So your person knows that they're attracted to you. They know that you are their twin flame. Everything about your reading screams that you should be together. But right now, there's difficulties. So I will pull some cards and see what those difficulties have been. Um, but with this card, I feel like you're open to loving this person, but you feel that you've given so much already. You've made a lot of sacrifices and almost overgiven. I do feel like there needs to be healthier boundaries in this relationship. That's what I'm definitely picking up with, especially when you've got a queen of cups there as well. Okay. This is your protagonist energy. So this is how you're feeling about your person. The seven of pentacles basically says you've put so much effort into it. You've come this far. You haven't only just come this far to just come this far. So part of you really wants to continue. You don't want to give up on this connection, but you're at a period of self-evaluation. You're dis satisfied with the way things have gone and the way things have developed and right now you're kind of just checking in with yourself and wondering is it worth you continuing to invest in something that perhaps is not investing in you at this time now I always say twin flames should not wait for their twin the chaser is someone who is always um, willing and open to be vulnerable and surrender to the union and the the runner is someone who loves as much as the chaser you both feel instant like magic instant connection but the runner is the one who feels avoidant and they're not avoiding the twin per se they're actually avoiding avoiding um, the things within themselves that are being triggered by being with someone who is showing unconditional love. It's like a mirror. So you, my beautiful Sagittarians, are offering so much love, care and devotion towards this person and they've not experienced that level before and they don't trust it so they take a step back they keep you at an arm's length or at a distance they kind of put the brakes on a little bit and you're triggering insecurities within them and that's the way the twin flame connection is meant to happen uh, in order for us to grow i mean if we were all plain sailing and just like 
you know, coasting in life, we don't actually change, we don't evolve, we don't uh, be challenged. The twin flame connection, whilst it can be a very wonderful, loving, passionate relationship, it is a challenging one and not everybody can take it because some twin flames take a very long time to spiritually evolve and others not so much, okay? There tends to be a separation period, a chaser, a runner, and there is a period in between where both parties spiritually evolve separately in a very difficult dynamic, but the universe orchestrates them back together when the moment is right, okay? Um, your twin, sometimes when your twin is, well, most of the time, I guess, when the twin is pushing away their counterpart, it feels like rejection, but actually the twin is rejecting parts of themselves that they do not want to process, they do not want to look at, okay? Twin flames tend to have had a very difficult journey in life, before they meet each other, often have had a relationship with someone in a romantic sense that has been very damaging to their esteem and to their confidence. And then their twin comes along to almost um, you know, trigger the things within them to force them to uh, process deep, seeded emotions, both from childhood, could be trust issues, codependency, um, you know, self-loathing, uh, you know, all of those things that are within ourselves it's to process, let them go, and come into a more accepting frequency where both parties can be together. Now that's very much at grassroots what a twin flame connection is. So I'm gonna take a step back. Some of you have already heard that before, and I'm just gonna focus on you and what you are, uh, what I'm picking up from your cards right now. Um, as you can see, some of you may be even wondering whether it's worth just focusing on your projects. We've got the money there, uh, things that you're invest investing in, and then the romance uh, part of it all. So a lot of you are thinking, you know what, maybe I should just focus a lot on my my goals because the romance element has not uh, been working. You may have even taken yourself out of the dating game for a while. Um, I feel like you're looking for someone, of course, who is wanting to settle down, someone you can rely on, someone you can trust. We've got a king um, of pentacles here. So this does mean your person is spiritually evolving and maturing to a point where they can offer that level of security. But uh, they are going through a period of um, transformation, okay? Uh, also, you may be looking at the reality of the situation because we do have that connection between Neptune and Pisces and the romance of it all. You know, there's that wonderful idea in our head of what we want in terms of romance and then we look at the practical side and look at what we got and we're like, oh, is that it? I feel, uh, I'm gonna pull a quick card on this because I feel right now you're being super honest with yourself and you're looking for you know something spectacular in love and you totally deserve it. Okay, this person has not um, fully invested in the relationship in the past. In fact, they're holding themselves back. They've got the whip there, which indicates this person is someone who isolates themselves. Uh, they don't like to connect on a deep level to people. They hold the, their emotions in. We'll find out why, but I'm just gonna pull a card on this. Seven of Swords. So you're changing the dynamic by walking away. You've got double seven here. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is to slowly ease yourself out of a situation that perhaps you feel is no longer for you. It can also mean that um, um, you're subtly just staying really silent and seeing what that does for the connection. The Seven of Swords, at grassroots, this card is not about like lying, cheating, stealing. I know uh, people associate it with that, but it is a golden card, okay? Uh, in the Tarot, any gold cards or yellow cards are positive. So it indicates that um, you know there can be some diplomacy where you and your person can find an alternative way to find a resolution without fighting or arguing or feeling tense or trapped in a situation. Uh, Seven of Swords also you know, indicates whilst there are five swords being stolen in this card or taken, shall we say, in this card. There are being two, two are being left behind. So the door is still wide open. And I feel this person is trying, your twin is trying to keep a foot in the door until such time as they feel ready for the connection. But you're not, you're not allowing this at this time. You're done. Okay, so I see you walking away from this because you're asking yourself, is it worth it? You've committed so much. And I feel you've got a bit of a conundrum, a bit of a choice to make where you're like, on one hand, you've come this far and you didn't only come this far to just stop now. 
or the other side is um, you can't do this anymore, you're frustrated, you've been let down and you feel disappointed with the way that the situation has gone and frustrated and bored that this person comes in with the same behavior. It's almost like you expect the same behavior now and you're starting to look at yourself, um, build healthier boundaries and say, no, I deserve better. So I really feel that you're cutting yourself off here. It's worth noting that whenever a twin flame separation is changing, you flip polarities. So the chaser becomes the runner and the runner becomes the chaser because you're not giving to the situation anymore or you're in a period of self-evaluation. Your person is going to make a move towards you, okay? And you're in the Seven of Swords energy, which is you've either stayed silent and or slowly like, you know, edging yourself out of the situation because you want something that is committed. Now, the Queen of Cups tells me deep down though, you love okay even though you question this even though you even wonder is this a fantasy is this a twin flame connection is this really my twin flame or is this a false flame because i feel you're looking at the exchange okay all the effort and love and care and devotion that you've put in and you're looking at what you get out so you're evaluating the circumstances and i just get this sense that you know it's not good enough right now okay um the queen of cups indicates that you are someone who overgives, and that's that's not, um, that's not me pointing fingers. It's not a, a negative thing. What it is, you have to become aware of balance, okay? And this is across the board. It's not just um, in terms of this relationship with the twin flame connection. There could be some areas of your life where you overgive. You're so generous with your time, your love, everybody that you really have within your you know, personal circle, the ones who really get into your life, um, the ones you allow into your life, you would do anything for those people. You're the sort of person, ride or die. But sometimes you're always giving, always giving. And those people, they may not be able to give back in that moment, and that's fine. But you continue to give until you're burning yourself out. So they are indicating here, it's, it's worth noting um, that healthy boundaries is something that you are meant to learn in this twin flame connection. Because the twin flame connection is a learning curve. It teaches each twin something about themselves that they must realize that has to evolve, okay? And yours is to overgive, always be fixing or trying to fix a situation. So if you notice that this person comes to you for support, comes for you, uh, comes to you for empathy and understanding, um, and whenever things are not going well in the world, you are their rock, you are their solace, and you end up fixing this person. It's almost like a temporary fix or band aid before this person sort of, um, you know leaves again. Because I'm getting this energy of a cycle. So just watch out for that. Um, it's. It's a repetitive cycle that this person has got into, and um, I'll find out why, but um, if we allow a person to continue to repeat this cycle, it will be very difficult to get out of that, okay? It can be done, and it will be done, because I see both you and your person coming together in the future, but it's just something worth noting. Um, I feel very turbulent emotions here. You're trying to create balance in this. You do love this person. You thought you would settle down with this person, but right now, you can't see it happening because there's so much um, out of balance energy and this person's holding themselves back. Uh, they've got the whip. I mean, it's number 11, which means this person knows that you are their soulmate. They just know. And also I'm picking up a king of wands and a queen of wands, okay? And there's, I mean, there's also an energy here of um, parental influence is what I'm picking up. So you may, my beautiful uh, Sagittarians, be influenced by a feminine energy in your life. Could be your maternal, could be your mother or your guardian, maternal gu guardian, um, where they were also very sensitive, overgiving, very loving, and very forgiving in situations. So you may be kind of like taking on that side of them in this relationship where you're super sensitive and you've given this person, this twin flame, many opportunities to come to you to make it right, okay? And over here, your person is very influenced by a paternal um, figure, a father type figure in their life that I feel was um, absent or, well, I feel like this person's, how can I, Okay, I'm not here to judge anybody or their journey, but I get a sense that um, someone in your person's life cheated, okay? I'm getting this energy of, it's either the father figure uh, or, or masculine guardian 
I mean, it could have been either or, but I'm picking up strong masculine energy of someone in their life cheating. And they looked at that like, I'm never going to ha let that happen to me. Okay, so that means they've built a wall right from childhood where they're like, you know what, I'm not gonna get close to anybody because if I get close to somebody, chances are eventually they're gonna go and find someone else because that's what they've witnessed as a child. So there's something here, um, childhood wounding, uh, ancestral uh, wounding going on here. This person is meant to break that cycle. They're not the sort of person who's gonna go off and cheat, but what they're doing, uh, your person, is um, using sensuality instead of intimacy. So they're keeping it, um, there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person, a lot of spark, a lot of passion, but they're afraid to go deeper because they feel that once they do, then either you'll walk away or they will, you will leave uh, or you'll find someone else. I do feel there's a potential to be a little bit jealous uh, from this person as well. So uh, you may have already experienced this. So this person, they keep their emotions on a tight leash. They actually um, hold themselves back is what they're, they're giving me here. And with the whip, this is a card of um, being quite protective as well as um, restraining themselves. This person, it's almost like they're punishing themselves. That's what I'm picking up on. They keep people at arm's length. The whip is to be at arm's length. And there, there's a lot of conflict here, okay? They witness a lot of drama, a lot of fights when they were younger. I'm just gonna pull a card on that just to see. Um, now, of course, we all have difficulties in childhood. We all have difficulties growing up on our path. And as we evolve, we do not let that control our future or our present moment. But sometimes people, without even realize, they, they emulate a pattern or they find themselves in similar situations, okay? Because you know when you're trying to avoid something so hard, you actually end up receiving it, okay? Because you're thinking about it all the time. And thoughts become things. I keep saying to people, thoughts become things. A friend of mine, she got into a relationship last year. And one of the first things she said to the person that she met was like, you know what, I've been cheating on it before in the past. And if you could just be honest and open with me, I'd be really appreciative of that. I just don't want to waste my time because someone else has done that to me in the past, okay? And what happened? The guy cheated on her. Because the thing that she's fearing the most, the thing that she is uh, you know, focusing on the whole time is to be cheated on and she's scared of it. So, I mean, of course, all of us, when we're opening ourselves up to commitment and to being vulnerable with another person and trusting them, the last thing we want is anyone to you know, cheat on us. Of course, that's true. But the more you think about something, the more you bring about, okay? It's like a prophecy. So it's really important whenever I say in these readings, thoughts become things. It's so important. You're giving out this energy, you're giving out this fear, you know, why do you think in things like the media, there's a lot of fear, uh, it just keeps perpetuating a cycle. So it's so important um, that you really check your thoughts, okay, uh, on, on most occasions. We have the tower and we have the three of cups. Yeah, this person, as I said, when they were younger, this person, either their parent caught the other one cheating, the three cups there, and it shocked. It literally broke their home apart. Uh, the whole carpet, the whole rug was pulled from underneath this person, okay? It broke their home completely apart. It blew it to smithereens is what I'm being given here. And as a result, this person does not trust. They do not get close and they protect themselves. So give me the word protection in the water. Three cups tends to mean there's a third party situation and the tower, of course, is a major shock or destruction of something, but it can also be a liberation, okay? A liberation. I feel this person, they numb their feelings, okay? Three of Cups can also be to uh, go out drinking or partying or keep people at a distance in order to, you know, keep themselves free and single and fancy free, all of those things. With the tower there, this is like estrangement. They're giving me the word estrangement. So um, I'm, I'm guessing one of their parents were estranged from the other due to their chaotic energy and their sudden uh, fling or their sudden affair. And it, it's really rocked this person's world, even from a young age. So they've kept people at a, an arm's length, okay? So even if you look up the meaning of those cards, um, you will know that this person and I'm not here to give anyone an excuse, but I'm here to understand why this person is feeling really blocked when it comes to going deeper, because they know that you are their twin. They know, 
okay? But they like to, they don't like to go too deep because it means that there's feelings involved and they've seen a parent being crushed emotionally by another human and they vowed to themselves from a very young age, this is not gonna happen to me, okay? Um, now they've also got the four of wands. So this tells me that whatever it was, it happened in the home space. So we've already uh, detected that. But the four of wands also is a card of wanting peace wanting reconciliation. The Four of Wands literally means to reconcile or reunite with the person that they love and wanting to set up home, wanting to settle down, the halfway to marriage card. So this person, although they've been restricting themselves, they do want a relationship. They do want to be happy, but there's a lot of things from their past that they need to unpick. Now this person may tell you that they are Either they've just gone through counseling or that they have put themselves forward for counseling, but this person is seeking help. That's what they're giving me, okay? Because they want, um, what? Thank you so much, I'm sure grateful. I mean, it's not a golden bird, but they just said the golden bird again. Is there, a, I'm just gonna check the cards. I don't look at the cards until I hold them. I'm just gonna check the cards and see if there's a golden bird. I can't see one. Okay. I mean, this figure, it's like half bird, half person, and it is kind of golden, but they're just giving me golden bird, which again, to liberate, to live life without restriction. So not wanting to settle down, but this person actually deep down wants to commit to a relationship. They want to be happy, okay? Now, the Four of Wands does indicate that this person, when you met this person, they didn't want any ties. They perhaps went out drinking or having fun, um, you know, partying, all of that. But what I'm getting with this Four of Wands is that this person, they're going to reach out to you. They're at a time in their life where they want to focus on commitment and they're going to tell you about something that they've, some good news that they're celebrating, okay? I mean, it could be that they're out celebrating someone's birthday when they message you. They, they may be, um, you know, or celebrating some good news, they're going to tell you about something in a message that's like good news. And you are going to be a little bit withdrawn from this person, but they want to start again. They want to reunite with you. It, the, the conversation will end in, I wanna be with you, I love you, uh, I want to reunite with you, let's make this happen, let's try and commit to each other. Um, this person, even though you committed to this person, this person, they actually, they want to open up. They want to go for it this time. Um, they do have the King of Wands. So when they message you, they will be a little bit flirty um, and they'll tell you about this good news that they've got going on. But also the King of Wands is an instigator. So this, per this person is going to take the initiative. Now the energy that we've got here, we've got some Cancerian energy. We've got some fire there. So we've got uh, Aries, we've got Sagittarius and Leo energy. We've also got Taurus energy and um, a little bit of Earth, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm feeling here as well, okay? So I do feel that this person, you know, King of Wands is someone who's very, very lusty. So I think this person has been fantasizing about you um, and they actually fantasize about, you know, getting engaged and moving in with you. That's what I'm seeing here. Uh, I'm gonna pull another card just to clarify any more of their energy. Anything else we need to know about this person before we move forward to the outcome? Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? Is there anything about this connection that they need to know? Any answers to their questions? I'm only picking the uprights in this deck, just so you're aware. Okay, so they're indicating with the Two of Pentacles, they were unsure at first and they were, you know, doing, you know, they were very busy. They given this energy of the, this person is very busy. They were focusing on their goals, their ambitions, and they were very um, unsure about commitment. They were struggling, okay? But we got the Ace of Pentacles here. This person wants to commit. They want to offer solid commitment. They want to come in. They want to be your person because they know that they are. They know that you are their fate and their destiny, okay? So I do feel, especially since we got, you know, Ace of Pentacles to describe this person and the King of Pentacles, this tells me that um, they are true blue. They want to be in your energetic sphere. Um, I mean, oh, now I'm not sure who's reading this came up for. I, don't, I, I really don't want to say the sentence actually, um, but I have to, otherwise no images or energy comes after it. It's like a blockage of a, a, 
Um, okay, there was a reading like maybe about a month ago and there was this sentence in it and just came up again. So it may have been for your reading, my beautiful Sagittarians, it's just coming out again. But there was a sentence, I don't wanna be like my father. Okay, that just came out of nowhere. Okay, and I'm gonna leave that there. I'm not gonna make a comment on that, okay, because that's not my business to do that. And, uh, you know, I don't know the circumstances. Everybody's got a different and difficult journey in life. And I cannot judge another person's uh, journey because I've not walked in their shoes and they've not walked in mine. I can seek to understand, but that's as far as I'll go on that, okay? Uh, now, the outcome we have, the overarching energy between you both is love and commitment, okay? There is a deep bond between you and this person, and I feel the way things are going, even though you're in a separation period, the universe is bringing you back together to reconcile. You haven't heard the last from this person. Even if you haven't heard from them in a while, this person will come in and they will message you, and they're gonna tell you about something that they're celebrating and that they miss you, okay? Um, oh, just as I said they miss you, they're giving me a song, one moment please. Oh gosh, I love this song. Um, I know this song. Um, and I miss you like the deserts miss the rain. Oh wow, you know what? I wanna, I wanna run away and listen to this song super loud right now. It's a great song, I love it. Um, oh, it's by a band called No Mercy. So that's really such a juxtaposing kind of, I feel like they're going to reach out and tell you that they miss you and then the band is called No Mercy so you're like there's no mercy here I do not forgive you at this time but in the future you and this person you will find a resolution is what I'm being given the energy of the twin flame connection that I'm picking up on in this moment there is a, a moment to reconcile okay there is love and there is commitment now this song may be relevant because you may hear it on the radio or you may hear it in the next six weeks or so that indicates your person is coming on in to talk Okay, um, but I feel you and this person, the deep bond will lead to a high level commitment like marriage, okay? If that's what you want, not everybody wants marriage, of course, but there is a proposal here. There is a partnership and a promise to be with each other for eternity, okay? Uh, now, this is your person's energy because we flip the energies like the mirror and they've got the wheel. They know that you are their destiny. They know, and they want to commit. They want to be a solid source of love and devotion and care in your life. The Wheel of Fortune is a turnaround, okay? This person, it's like out of the blue. This person comes in and offers, and you're like, what? They've been thinking about you this whole time, and because there's been silence, radio silence, you felt that they weren't even thinking about you, but they were. They were fantasizing about you all the time, but they've been focusing a lot on their goals, on their ambitions, and even if you're retired, uh, I feel, and, and this person is retired too, uh, this person, um, they have taken a long time to spiritually evolve and become mature, okay? And that doesn't help the situation, I know, but this person, and again, it's a difficult one because this person's giving me this energy that I'm ready, I'm ready. But just because they're ready doesn't mean you're ready now because the energy's flipped. Um, I'm getting this sense that this person cannot come in and out of your life and just turn you on and off like a light switch. That's not acceptable. So I feel that this person is going to, uh, I feel like they, they try to keep a foot in the door. So you may hear from this person sporadically, but this time they're going to keep messaging you until they try to win you over. And they're here for the long haul, okay? They are here for the long haul this time. Um, for you, we've got the Prince of Pentacles, okay? So some of you are thinking about putting yourself out there to find someone new. Prince of Pentacles is the equivalent of the Page of Pentacles, so you may be curious about what else is out there because you've learned a lot of lessons in this situation and you're being really honest with yourself and realistic. You made the effort, you applied yourself to this situation and you're looking for someone who's dependable. So the energy that I've got here is, if your twin flame did not appreciate you when they had you, what makes you think or what makes them think that they deserve you now as you move forward. So I feel a lot of you are thinking about uh, opening yourself up to someone new who will appreciate you right from the very beginning. And it's not that this person, this twin flame, did not appreciate or did not love you. It's that there were parts of themselves that they could not love. 
because they felt that they were unlovable and they did not want to go deep in a connection because um, they felt that they would be hurt in the future and it was better to remain in control and be the person who leaves or keeps people at a distance okay uh, this person they are maturing and they're seeing the error of their ways I feel like they do want to make amends but right now uh, I feel you're thinking about maybe letting this situation go and focusing on whether you should find someone else okay um, some of you maybe focus on your goals and uh, you know you may be uh, taking yourself off traveling or learning more about the world and your place in it some of you if you're retired you may be thinking about taking up a hobby or some sort of course of study um, things that you've always wanted to you know learn about um, and if you are working some of you may be actually taking up a new job or applying for new jobs you're gonna get a really awesome one that's coming on in and you're gonna be very very successful with it as well um, we've also got the Queen of Wands okay now the Queen of Wands indicates that you're building your confidence and as you start to mature you start to look at yourself and think you know what actually I am a catch and you are, my beautiful Sagittarians. It's taken you a while to realize it, but the Queen of Wands is someone who attracts a lot of attention, okay? So you are magnetic at this time, and not only are you attracting your twin flame back to you, but also um, you're attracting other people into your energetic sphere. So I feel in the near future, you're going to be talking to someone new if you're not already, but also your twin is going to come on in. So just as soon as you start to move on, and walk away from the twin flame connection, your twin will come in and start to make the effort that they should have done at the very beginning. That's your call whether you wanna be with this person or not, but you are standing in your power and you're attracting um, you know, a lot of in, uh, interest at this time as well. Um, also the Queen of Wands is someone who, you know, gets out there and mingles with other people. So as I said, this energy of you thinking about getting out there, but ultimately, you feel that you and your person belong together. Uh, there's a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry between you both, and there's a bond that is unspoken between both of you. And I feel part of you doesn't really wanna let that go, but this person needs to show up in your life in the most positive sense, with action, otherwise you're gone, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for your reading. I'm just going to pull some cards uh, to close the reading for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know? high on life and ready, ready to do something. I'm gonna go and pull one more because this is, I feel you and your person are ready. Yeah, uh, I felt the same energy uh, in the Taurus reading. So uh, you may have Taurian placements or your person may have Taurus in their chart um, because they also got the drawing closer card. That's why I needed to go that one more. You're ready to be with each other, but I needed to clarify. I like to clarify, ready for what? I don't like to just rely on the energy I've got coming through. Uh, it must also be through the cards. So it says ready, okay? And I feel both of you are ready to take this journey. Not only did you get the king and queen of wands, but you got the heart and the ring. So this tells me that both of you, both of you very passionate, very fiery. I mean, both of you may be fire elements as well, but I get this sense that both of you, you are together a power couple and there's something wonderful when you're both together. It just works, it just clicks. And it says ready to do something and the opportunity is ripe. Now is your time, okay? And it says high on life, extremely happy with life. Living life to the fullest, excitement and happiness. Remember, thoughts become things. That's why it's so important when you're visualizing or manifesting your twin back to you or man manifesting anything in life, always see it in the positive. Don't be thinking about the time that you argue with the person or they said something that was really negative because you're drawing that energy back into your life. Think about the good times. Think about uh, how you wish it to be or how you want it to be. You're actually showing the universe how it should be and it will be delivered to you. Okay, and finally, we've got drawing closer. So you and your person, you will be coming back together. There is reconciliation here for you. Um, it says something is around the corner, attracting the right things and bringing you closer together. Okay, so in divine timing, both of you will find a way to resolution. Of course, if you want to walk away from this twin flame connection, you can. There is someone new coming on in. That's your call, my beautiful Sagittarians. But as this is a twin flame connection to check in with the separation period and how it's going, I feel like your person, they have been resisting for such a long time, but they are 
maturing and they're going to take the initiative to reach out to you okay so i'll leave it there i hope something resonates in this reading for you my beautiful sagittarians if it does please like and subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when i update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is so important for me too also, we've got trinkets to go. Now, I can feel one of them that I've got, okay? I know it's the ring. I knew it, I knew, oh my gosh. Hold the phone. I love it when that happens. I close my eyes when I pick the trinkets because I love to be surprised by what spirit gives me also. I kid you not, you literally got the ring and the heart. The heart and the ring. I cannot believe it. I'm. It's rare that I'm speechless, as you probably can tell, especially when I'm channeling, it's constant, constant energy. Some people say to me, Baba, slow down, it's too fast. But I'm still honing my craft, and when I'm channeling, um, you know, it's very hard for me not to talk at the speed that the energy is coming through me, and the thoughts and the words are coming at me as well. So I do apologize, but there is a little button down there at the bottom on YouTube where you can just slow me down if it's too fast, okay? Anyway, uh, we've got the ring there and the heart, and I just cannot believe it, okay? This, I mean, if there was ever a sign, it's that. I mean, metal tastes like metal, okay? T tastes, that's weird. Um, metal feels like metal, that's what I meant to say, okay? I can't tell what I'm picking up because it's just metal. And when I'm closing my eyes as well, it's just hard. But when it was in my hand, I could feel it was the ring based on the shape, but only once it was in the hand. And I can't believe it, it's, it's the ring in the heart. Anyway, I'll get over myself. Uh, my guides are indicating something major for you here, that there is love and commitment on the horizon for you. And I'm gonna put it literally on the cards that you got there. I'm so, I love this so much, I love it. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Sagittarians. Love and light.